and we're got it. So <laughs> warp pp warp ppm for the people mover, and this just opened today. I'm on the fifth server through the world of Tron. So I don't think um, if Freddy's watching this, this is what you're missing out. Um, obviously, you can access this at any time now because. Uh, so just listen to this transition right here. It goes to the 1960s Muzak style, and I absolutely love it. And then we're going to spawn one right here. This is the view for the platform. Usually there'd be the continuous, um, continuous ride vehicles in the ride path. And, you know, that's a thing. Today we're going to get the blue again, so here we go. Now, one thing that I just realized about this attraction is that it is... It's got bars through it, so... You know... Yeah, obvious for safety, but kind of obtrusive. It's like watching Fantasmic up front. It's a very fast... It's a rather quick ride. Quicker than I thought. Knowing that it is uh, propelled by Goodyear tires. The first system of its kind in the world. Since its 1967 opening, the People Mover has carried more than 50 million guests. And this is a very, very clean audio. You know, mad, mad props to Mouska Gamer and the crew out at Imagine Fun because this. This is pod racing. <laughs> um, and I, I, you know, if you guys are doing this, why not make this ride a seasonal thing? And make this a, you know, a seasonal people mover and then a seasonal, a seasonal version of the rocket runs. Because that would be awesome, getting a chance to ride both in the span of a year. And it's very original. Like, I was talking to a friend about this. I was talking to a friend about this, and he said, you know, it's a, they're really doing an original way and utilizing as much uh, available space as possible. And that available space, you know, you obviously have space for a ride. You know, you don't want to keep it empty. This is a huge what-if situation, and it's come true. And in the context of 2020, where, frankly, Tomorrowland is pretty dead in terms of movement, you know, it, it, this is a very, very welcome addition to a Minecraft server. And it, it's an experience that you're not going to get anywhere else. You know, you're not going to see MC Amusement doing this. You're not going to see any other Disney-based, Disneyland, especially, specifically, Disneyland-based uh, Minecraft servers doing this. You know, this is 100%, you know, unique. And I highly appreciate the crew for doing such a fine job at doing this. You're about to enter one of Tomorrowland's most exciting attractions, Space Mountain. For everyone's safety, we remind you to please remain seated. Right there, that's the cue for Space Mountain. You would usually, if you were in 1994, you would see that as the Starcade, the second floor and the speed ramps, right where the ship would be. Or where the ship is. This segment of the People Mover right here, where you're seeing into Space Mountain, it's extremely unique, but at the same time, you don't know how the, you know, where the windows are to see it. If Even if the lights are on, you don't know where the windows are, where to look at the People Mover from inside Space Mountain. And then the music between the... Uh, spiels are very 
You know, it's very calming. I wish more Disney rides like the Monorail, Disneyland Railroad had that. In the Magic and, Eye Theater, Michael Jackson challenges galactic powers in Captain EO, an unprecedented 3D musical adventure to bring a game to your mind. It's basically highlighting things that aren't there anymore, unfortunately. Just ahead is Mission to Mars. There you can blast off Obviously the now, uh, red planet. the Pizza Planet, Alien Pizza Planet. <laughs> oh, Mr. Johnson, would you show us what it's like for people in zero gravity? That's very interesting. Of course, just a moment. Imagine seeing that view, though. All right, now this is my favorite part. Warning, you have invaded the electronic this. I'll shut up during the segment. Isn't that awesome? You have escaped Tron's game grid for now, users. But take heed. Next time you may not fare so well. That is absolutely insane. That's my favorite part of this attraction so far. And the fact that they were able to do it in Minecraft is 100% A plus on that. And you heard a little bit of that audio overlap right there with the with the thing, and you get you hear a little bit of the uh, I think Mark V modern. This is the scenic route. You know, you'll, you duck underneath the monorail, you go over the monorail. It's, it's amazing. Just think what could have been experienced, you know, in 2020. Obviously, you know, many of the fans in 2001, I mean, like, this, this detail right here, this is from 2001, because it's bronze. And a lot of these outdoor features out here, um, you know, they've been... Trees have grown over them already, and there's a ton of leaves, and it kind of looks like a, like a messy gutter. But still, it's it's very good. Just soaring over Autopia. Just experiencing this, man, would would have been extremely nice. This green wall, I assume, was not there when the People Mover existed. Um, I think it was there during the Rocket Rods era. Because this is like a nice tight curve, and if you're going high speed at that, you might fly off. <laughs> you know, might you might get a little bit terrified of flying off. From here, you can see the gold and white spires of It's a Small World. It's my render distance line. Oh, a little bit. That ever sailed the seven seas. I just love how high we are right now. Like, this has to be one of the highest attractions, elevation-wise, in all of Disneyland. Exploring a fascinating world of eerie sea creatures and lost ships. 
And I'll say that there's something that's very, very charming about experiencing a 1960s attraction with 1960s or 1970s, 1980s, 1990s uh, audio, but in the context of 2020 Disneyland. It's it's very charming. So, again, like, I can never thank this team enough. I've been a donator since day one because I extremely support what they're doing, bringing Disneyland to people who ate, who either can't afford it or can't access it due to COVID, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, this morning there was a weird, there's a strange protest at a Disneyland, a reopen Disneyland protest, and it's like, wait, why are you pre protesting reopening? It's, it was weird. There's like 20 people who went, and just imagine if uh, the folks at Imagine Tomorrow, or Imagine Tomorrow, this was weird. It's like, why you put that audio bit in? It's like, nah, fam, that, that's Walt Disney World, keep it, keep it California, keep it close to California, that's the way to go. And for what they already have here in Tomorrowland, you know, they, they really worked really well uh, for most of Tomorrowland. I would really like to see the railroad running. I would like to see the monorail running. Uh, so far, there's the Speedle Mover and Autopia, which we're actually going to ride here on stream because I am recording two different videos in, one's, uh, in one recording session. So you guys are here along we're for the ride. Now correct me if I'm wrong, because I definitely feel think I am wrong. That it's this segment right here that you, that actually housed um, or, or the Epcot, the original Epcot, not this, because this looks like something out of the Lincoln Theater. Just my thoughts. So I feel like that little diorama, as we listen to uh, the. <laughs> Matterhorn Matt podcast, the Matterhorn Mondays podcast. You know that that building would house, you know, the city of tomorrow. Coming up on the final straightaway right here. The the attention to detail that this servers had is top notch. It's artistic, and you know, well, having them only open the this server only two three years ago is immensely insane again if you want to join in on this server it is mc.imaginefun.net they are a 24 hour service they also have discord if you want to hang out and chat with other Disneyland fans and you know consider donating to them because they you know they've been on their a game they're bringing new attractions uh they they did a little review or they did a little announcement thing which this attraction was a part of and they they, they called it like they parodied the nintendo newswire news reveal events for uh for like nintendo switch or ds wii u etc etc and this was one of the this is the first thing to be announced but they're also going to be opening get this they're opening cars land guys cars land and i think um radiator springs racers in november and yes we're going to cover that right here on tasg no doubt it's going to be part of season of season 19 here on this channel because it is going to be just next month so they are doing immense projects everywhere. I wish they had priority on Rise because, frankly, um, I think Rise of the Resistance is a higher priority than Cars Land, but, you know, that's just me. It's also very interesting that they've also socially distanced their tables here at the Galactic Grill. So they're, they're on top of their A-game, very, staying very socially distant. Um, and keeping everybody safe. Best part is, 
you know, don't take this the wrong way, but the best part is, this is the one Disneyland that you don't have to wear a mask. And it's free. So that's the great part about it. So we're going to end this video right here. Uh, we're going to continue streaming on Twitch because this is, a, this is originally a Twitch stream of Taz Gamer Live on Twitch. So uh, we're going to keep stay live for that. But for this part of the vlog, I'm Mark Canopy. Thank you for watching. And we will see you guys in the next one.